guys, this is Pa here, and thank you for checking out this video. So I'm bringing you something exciting today, and that is how to escape the minigame lobby on Minecraft console using the Elytra wings. As you can see, I've got them back here. So yes, guys, as you can see, I'm on top of the actual lobby here and able to get out into the lands surrounding the lobby itself. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, how to do this, and basically we're going to go for a bit of a wander outside and just have a look around and uh, check some stuff out. So basically guys, there are two ways that I'm aware of that you can actually do this and I'm going to need to actually kick these people. Unfortunately, I feel bad for doing it, but we need to do this uh, in able to be able to look around the lobby and not start a new game. Because obviously when people join, it means the time is going to start down again, basically. <laughs> so yes, guys, there are two ways that I'm aware of that you can do this, that you can actually get out of the lobby. Uh, the one is the way I'm going to show you today, which I've discovered myself. And, um, you know, I'll explain how I discovered it as well. And the second one I found out from IBX Toy Cat, which I'm not going to show you today, but I'll briefly tell you kind of what it involves. It basically, you need a fishing rod and a willing friend, <laughs> basically. So if that intrigues you, then be sure to head over to IBX Toy Cat's channel. It's quite a recent video from, you know, when this was this one was uploaded. So you should find it on uh, IBX Toy Cat's channel pretty easily. But uh, yeah, that one's uh, quite an interesting one to see. So guys, let's explain then. How do you get out side of the minigame lobby using the Elytra Wings. Well, first you need to, of course, get your Elytra Wings. And if you don't know by now, basically, to get Elytra Wings, you need to uh, win a public match of one of the minigames, Battle Tumble or Glide. And once you've won, you will spawn back into the lobby on top of that platform over there and you just pop up the uh, ladders inside into the room at the top and grab your Elytra Wings at the chest. So, Basically, uh, you got your Elytra Wings, so let's just fly back down here as if we've just got our Elytra Wings up there. <laughs> of course, I've already got them. So I got the idea from this section over here. So if you, again, if you don't know, basically you can get down to the old lobby by using Elytra Wings and just flying down there. Obviously, it's like a one high gap, so you can only get down there using the Elytra Wings by flying and, you know, just getting down into the gap. So I was thinking, are there any other one high gaps around the map um, that you know, we could check out, we, we could get through using the Elytra Wings. And sure enough, there is one. There is, well, I think there's a couple of different things um, around, but only one that I found where you can actually get out of the, the mini game. The other ones, I think I've got stuck, basically. I actually got stuck in the uh, the fountain bit under there, that little bit under there. I uh, flew in there with the Elytra Wings and got stuck, so I had to reset. So basically, we want to head up to this section over there basically that is the the area so let's get up so there's a couple of ways you can get up here um you know there's multiple routes to get up onto the actual roof but i'm gonna go this way which i think is possibly the quickest so you want to head up here into the old tavern area and pop out of the window basically and hopefully it'll fall down there we go <laughs> so we want to hop across the roof grab the music disc out of the chest if you want <laughs> but um we can just head up on here, and this jump here could be a little bit tricky. So hopefully we don't fall down. There we go. I always uh, sometimes mess that up. So basically, we want to come down to this section over here, and we want to jump down to this roof here. And basically, there is a one high gap in here. <laughs> so basically, if we just kind of spam the Elytra Wing flying a bit, there we go, like that. You just kind of keep jumping and pressing uh, the jump button just so you can use the rings. And I need to... Um, kick this player unfortunately I, I do feel bad by doing it unfortunately because it annoys me you know when you when you're playing legitimately and people actually um, just kick you especially when you win that's the one thing that really annoys me you know when you win like a match and people literally kick you just because you've won that's so annoying so yeah once you come down here guys uh, you'll come through here and you'll find all this redstone. So we're going to see lots of redstone because obviously there's loads of secrets around the map and all the things that open up. So you just kind of want to come down here basically. And now we are basically underneath the actual lobby itself. Uh, well, part of the lobby. And as you can see, there's loads and loads of redstone around here. So obviously we'll kind of take a look at this a lot. But, you, you know, a lot of it's like straightforward redstone. Well, it's it's quite complicated because I'm not the uh, the best at redstone in all honesty. Some simple contraptions, um, you know, 
work it some stuff you can work out but yeah a lot of the things obviously pressing buttons and this opens that and etc put music discs discs in here and uh well put things in chest to get music discs to come out so basically we can get out of this area because obviously it looks quite uh walled off a bit we can actually get down i don't think we can get down through there but yeah so we want to come uh you can see all these vi actually not not those vines there to be honest, <laughs> there is some vines um, here. There we go. So obviously there's a load more kind of uh, redstone things around here. I think, is that to do with the... Hmm, not sure. That might be to do with the... Um... Yeah, I think it is. You can see from here. You know the uh, the gold and iron armor stands that you have to push down? I think that's the uh, the redstone for that. Actually. Yeah, it looks like it from the underneath. So let's go up here then. Let's go and check this out. And uh, I've had a brief look around because obviously I got myself up to the top and I'm trying to remember the route I got to go. I think you just kind of go up here and the, you can climb up the trees right, basically. Uh, so yeah, there's a load of these jungle trees around. So that's handy for climbing up vines and things like that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. So let's head up to, I think we can head up here. Uh, if I remember correctly, no, maybe not. I'm not too sure, actually. <laughs> I think we can actually get up this. Um, I'm just trying to remember. I think if, maybe if we go up to up, on this tree here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, if we get up here. Oh, no. This is getting this is getting annoying. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I'm going the, wrong, going the wrong side. If we go up on this side here. Yeah. And then we can kind of get round. And then just climbing on these leaves here, we can just jump pretty much on top of the actual lobby. So, uh, like so. There. Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, right, so go that way. There we go. Now we're on top of the lobby. And you can go in these, like, tower top. There's nothing in here, basically. But, obviously, um, it's cool to check out. It would have been cool if there was, like... It would have been cool if there was kind of additional secrets, like... If they knew that there was definitely ways that people could get out of the lobby uh, legitimately. I mean, it is legitimate. It's not like... I mean, we are kind of glitching ourselves out of it. But, but we are going for a one high gap, which you are, which you are able to do by using the elite wings you know it's it's part of it so <laughs> so right at the top end obviously the top's pretty similar to be honest there's not much kind of uh extra going on but it's you know it's just cool just to say you've been up here basically so uh yeah because there is actually i'm wondering actually because i think it's is it that building there there's an attic bit on on top of that building and I wonder if we can kind of get there. We might try it uh, after we've kind of done. So there's like an opening there. And I, I don't think there's any way to get up there. But it seems that you can actually get through. So maybe if, if we go like, for example, up to that side and then glide down. We'll, we'll, we'll check that out, actually. But um, let's go and kind of let's go and ha kind of have a wander around. So as we can see, we can see all this redstone down here. So this is... Uh, yeah, this is like the back of the the bit where the elytra wings are. So obviously you've got your fireworks and things. You've got the bit where you shoot the arrows. And um, from looking at this, it looks like it's a load of uh, droppers. And so every time you shoot a um, uh, a thing, uh, a button, it drops them out of there. And then I think it goes down into a hopper or something down down there. Looks like it. I believe it is. I can't really see. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a hopper down there. So, and once there's like enough items in the hopper, it then set off this fireworks and the lights and things like that, which is pretty cool, of course. And then, of course, on the other side, you've got like the creeper face things that you can shoot the um, buttons on the walls and they pop out, revealing the um, is it the stone, the stone sword? They're like the the key for that, the code. Uh, so, right, let's kind of go round and we can. We could also, I mean, because this part is, this, you know, this part of the map is all kind of raised up. Uh, but we can actually drop down to the, like the, you know, the super flat world down there. And we can, of course, see underneath. But I don't think, maybe do it at the end. I'm not, I'm not sure. Because if we go down there, we're not going to be able to get back up, basically. <laughs> which is going to be annoying. But it's going to be interesting just to kind of check out. I don't think there's going to be much out here, obviously. But it's a nice bit of scenery <laughs> to check out. So let's kind of just head out of here. And someone's just joined. So we need to kick. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to do it. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, especially if you are. Um, uh, if it turns out like these people, any of these people are like kind of subscribers. I do apologise. As you can see, it's for the purpose of this video. Normally, I wouldn't help to kick you guys out. And as you can see as well, I'm wearing a kind of different skin. This is my. This is my. I think my skin. I, I like to use for glide. It's the old uh, Ender Ender Dragon Glider skin. Uh, which I think it looks cool. Um, I like my pirate skin, of course, for normal things, but for doing glide, and uh, I think I like to change. I like to change the uh, the skins up for the battle when I'm for the battle for for the mini games like battle and glide and things, just because it's it's something different. And these look cool for gliding as well. Look, we're just gliding when we're, we're a dragon. <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks like we've got this kind of area over there. Let's kind of have a little glide over here. Let's kind of have a look. And, ooh, we've got loads of water down there. I think it's part of the... Obviously, it's like a super flat world down. It's kind of weird. Is that at the edge of the map, then, if it's water? I'm not sure, actually, because we've got, like, a corner there. That's weird. Why there's, like, a big, like, water, watery set. It's kind of like... Look at the shape of the map. I think it kind of goes up there and, like, right around. But then it goes there and up. That's really bizarre. <laughs> But of course, you know, it was created by 4J Studios. They put it all together. So, uh, you know, they'll, they'll have access to, obviously, all the developer tools, development tools that they can do for, for console, for Minecraft, so they can do all different things, basically. So, <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, look at look at this. Just You know, obviously, it's like a typical kind of, like, scenery kind of biome. It's kind of interesting whether they actually kind of built all this around here. Uh, they must have done actually. They must have just obviously got like a started off with like a super flat flat world, and then obviously built up the uh, you know the mini game from there, the actual lobby itself. So I don't think there's going to be much else to check out around the outside. Obviously, there's all the redstone working. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you might be able to. I don't think you can see all of it. Obviously, a lot of it's hidden as well. And it goes into the walls and things. But if you're interested in the redstone and how things work, then be sure to go and check it out. Obviously, we've got a lot of these like firework dispensers here when you press certain buttons and do certain things. Uh, where does that come from then? Hmm, I'm trying to think where this is. Well, why, have the, why is there a fireworks thing there? What does that do? I'm trying to think what this building is here. What is this building? What is it? <laughs> um, anyway, so I think it's this. Is it that building? No, it's not. It's that one there. As you can see, there's an opening at the top there. So I want to kind of see if we can get in there, basically. Um, I'm thinking, actually, if we go from this side. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, though. We're going to have to kind of do like a... A running jump maybe do it from here um okay let's just give it a go if we fail then we fail so oh i think we're gonna make it no we're so close ah oh, i think we can make that actually so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just uh cut ahead and get back up to the top again just so we can go and try it out basically i think we can get up there and see what's in there Okay, so we are back up and hopefully we're going to do it this time. So we just need to kind of get the aim right. I think we just kind of went to a bit to the... I wonder if... It, I don't know if going from there might be different. I think it's this one because you can go pretty much straight there. Um, actually, let's try it this way. Just because we can probably get like lined up better, possibly this way. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a running jump, though. So, let's try it anyway. So, in three, two, one. Woo -yah! <laughs> and, oh, no. <gasps> yes, we've done it. Whoa. And, okay. Where are we? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This is an interesting place. I don't think... Have we... I've actually been here before. Oh, it looks like you can get up here a different way. <laughs> That's so funny. You look like you can get from that way. I had no idea. Ah, what is in here though? What is what is in here? Have we find like a new secret of some sort? Uh, we've got some. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I don't, can't really get up. Can we get up? Are we allowed to get up here? It's not letting me up. <laughs> is there any like levers and buttons and things in here? It's got to be. You think there might be something? Um. It's just weird, though, that the fact that you can kind of get up here, though. So, that's interesting. So, it looks like there's, you know, it looks like there's definitely a way to get up there. Uh, 
What is in here? Is there, is there actually anything? It's just some random like attic, isn't it? But there's loads of cobwebs, but I'm getting stuck. That's the annoying thing. So can we actually get out of there? Um, so there's cobwebs there. Let's try and try and do. I think we could. We should just be able to get out. Am I crouching or anything? What's actually? What are we actually hitting? So the, we're not really hitting anything. Why? Why is it not letting me jump up? This is so weird. Oh, here we go. Right. Okay. We're up now. We are up. We're finally up. And I can't see anything else around. No buttons. So let's just climb up to this little bit here again. Um, that's so weird. The fact that you can actually like get up here and there's nothing, nothing really in it. there. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is how to get outside of the mini game lobby on Minecraft console. Well, one of the two ways that I am aware of. I don't know if there's any more. I've not seen any more around there. But yes. Um, Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you uh, if you have enjoyed it and found it useful and think it's awesome that you can get out of the lobby, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe so you can see all upcoming videos from me. And um, yeah, guys, thank you again for watching. And until my next video, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And I will see you all later.